Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Yesterday we read in the book of Jasher, in the complete Apocrypha, chapter 27, which was like this in, incredible battle. <laughs> Judah was outstanding. Oh, man. When God is with you, who can be against you, right? So now we're going to continue in chapter 38. And I hurry, king of Shiloh, came up to assist Elon, and he approached Jacob. When Jacob drew his bow that was in his hand and with an arrow struck a Uri, which caused his death. And when King Uri of the Shiloh was dead, King of, Shur king of Shiloh was dead. The four remaining kings fled from their station with the rest of the captains, and they endeavored to retreat, saying, We have no more strength with the Hebrews after their having killed the three kings and their captains, who were more powerful than we are. And when the sons of Jacob saw that the remaining kings had removed from their station, they pursued them. And Jacob also came with the heap of Shechem from the place where he was standing, and they went after the kings, and they approached him with their servants, and the kings and the captains with the rest of their armies. Seeing that the sons of Jacob approached him, were afraid of their lives, and fled until they reached the city of Chazar. And the sons of Jacob pursued them to the, to the gate of the city of Chazar, and they smote a great smiting among the kings and their armies, about four thousand men. And while they were smiting the army of the kings, Jacob was occupied with his bow, confining himself to smiting the kings, and he slew them all. And he slew Parathon, king of Chazar, at the gate of the city of Chazar. And he afterward smote Susi, king of Sarton, and Laban, king of beth Chorin, and Shabar, king of Maknema. And he slew them with all with the, his arrows, an arrow to each of them, and they died. And the sons of Jacob, seeing that all the kings were dead, and that they were broken up and retreating, continued to carry on the battle with the armies of the kings opposite the gate of Chazar. And they still smote about four hundred of their men. And three men of the servants of Jacob fell in that battle. And when Judah saw that three of his servants had died, it grieved him greatly, and his anger burned within him against the Amorites, and all the men that remained of the armies of the kings were greatly afraid of their lives, and they ran and broke the gates of the walls of the city of Chazar, and they all entered the city for safety, and they concealed themselves in the midst of the city of Chazar, for the city Chazar was very large and extensive. And when all these armies had entered the city, the sons of Jacob ran after them to the city. And four mighty men experienced in battle went out from the city and stood against the entrance of the city with drawn sword and spears in their hands. And they placed themselves opposite the sons of Jacob and would not suffer them to enter the city. And Naphtali ran and came between them and with his sword smote two of them and cut off their heads at one stroke. And he turned to the other two, and behold, they fled. And he pursued them, overtook them, smote them, and slew them. And the sons of Jacob came to the city and saw. Behold, there was another wall to the city, and they sought for the gate of the wall, and could not find it. And Judah sprang upon the top of the wall, and Simeon and Levi followed him. And all three descended over from the wall into the city. And Simeon and Levi slew all the men who ran for safety into the city, and all the inhabitants of the city with their wives and little ones they slew with the edge of the sword. And the cries of the city ascended up to heaven, and Dan and Naphtali spring upon the wall to see what caused the noise of lamentation. For the sons of Jacob felt anxious about their brothers, and they heard the inhabitants of the city speaking and weeping and supplication, saying, Take all that we possess in the city and go away. Only do not put us to death. And when Judah and Simeon and Levi had ceased smiting the inhabitants of the city, they ascended the wall. 
and, and called to Dan and Naphtali, who were upon the wall, and to the rest of their brothers. And Simeon and Levi informed them of the entrance into the city. And all the sons of Jacob came to fetch the spoil. And the sons of Jacob took the spoil of the city, Chazar, the flocks and herds and the property. They took all that, that could be captured and went away that day from the city. And on the next day, the sons of Jacob went to Sar Sarton, and they heard that the men of Sarton, who had remained in the city, were assembling to fight with them for having slain their king. And Sarton was a very high and fortified city, and had a deep rampart surrounding the city. And the pillar of the rampart was about fifty cubits, and its breadth of forty cubits. And there was no place for a man to enter the city on account of the rampart. And the sons of Jacob saw the rampart of the city, and they sought an entrance in it, but could not find it. For the entrance to the city was at the rear, and every man that wished to come into the city came by that road and went around the whole city, and he afterwards entered the city. And the sons of Jacob, seeing they could not find the way into the city, their anger was great, kindled greatly. And the inhabitants of the city, seeing the sons of Jacob, were coming to them, were greatly afraid of them, for they had heard of their strength and what they had done to Chazar. And the inhabitants of the city, Sarton, could not go out at, toward the sons of Jacob after having assembled in the city to fight against them, lest they might thereby get into the city. But when they saw that they were coming toward them, they were greatly afraid of them. For they had heard of their strength and what they had done to Chazar. So the inhabitants, inhabitants of Sarton speedily took away the bridge of the road of the city and from its place for before the sons of Jacob came, and they brought it into the city. And the sons of Jacob came and sought the way into the city and could not find it. And the inhabitants of the city went up on to the top of the wall and saw, and behold, the sons of Jacob were seeking an entrance into the city. And the inhabitants of the city re reproached the sons of Jacob from the top of the wall, and they cursed them. And the sons of Jacob heard the reproaches, and they were greatly incensed, and their anger burned within them. And the sons of Jacob pro were provoked at them, and they all rose and sprang over the rampart with the force of their strength, and through their might passed the forty cubits breadth of the rampart. And when they had passed the rampart, they stood under the wall of the city, and they found all the gates of the city enclosed with iron doors. And the sons of Jacob came near to break open the doors of the gates of the city, and the inhabitants did not let them. For from the top of the wall they were casting stones and arrows upon them. And the number of the people that were upon the wall were about four hundred men, and when the sons of Jacob saw that the men of the city would not let them open the gates of the city, they sprang and ascended the top of the wall, and Judah up first to the east part of the city, and Gad and Asher went up after him to the west corner of the city, and Simeon and Levi to the north, and Dan and Reuben to the south. And the men who were on the top of the wall, the inhabitants of the city, seeing that the sons of Jacob were coming up to them, they all fled from the wall, descended into the city, and concealed themselves in the midst of the city. And Ishakar and Naphtali were, re, that remained under the wall approached and broke the gates of the city and kindled a fire at the gates of the city, that the iron melted. And all the sons of Jacob came into the city, and they and all their men, and they fought with the inhabitants of the city, Sarton, and smote them with the edge of the sword, and no man stood up before them. And about two hundred men fled from the city, and they all went and hid themselves in a certain tower in the city. And Judah pursued them to the tower, and he broke down the tower, which fell upon the men, and they all died. And the sons of Jacob went up the road of the roof of that tower, and they saw, and behold, there was another strong and high tower at a distance in the city, and the top of it reached to heaven. And the sons of Jacob hastened and descended, and with went and went with all their men to that tower, and found it filled with about three hundred men, women, and little ones. And the sons of Jacob smoke a great smiting among those men in the tower, and they ran away and fled from them. And Simeon and Levi pursued them, when twelve mighty and valiant men came out 
out to them from the place where they had concealed themselves. And those twelve men maintained a strong battle against Simeon and Levi, and Simeon and Levi could not prevail over them. And those valiant men broke the shields of Simeon and Levi, and one of them struck at Levi's head with his sword, when Levi hastily placed his hand to his head, for he was afraid of the sword, and the sword struck Levi's hands, hand, and it wanted but little to the hand of Levi being cut off. And Levi seized the sword of the valiant man in his hand and took it forcibly from the man. And with it he struck at the head of the powerful man, and he severed his head. And eleven men approached to fight with Levi, for they saw that one of them was killed. And the sons of Jacob fought, and the sons of Jacob could not prevail over them, for those men were very powerful. And the sons of Jacob, seeing that they could not prevail over them, Simeon gave a loud and tremendous shriek, and the eleven powerful men were stunned at the voice of Simeon, Simeon's shrieking. And Judah at a distance knew the voice of Simeon shouting, and Naphtali and Judy, Judah ran with their shields to Simeon and Levi, and found them fighting with those powerful men, unable to prevail over them as their shields were broken. And Naphtali saw that the shields of Simeon and Levi were broken, and he took two shields from his servants and brought them to Simeon and Levi. And Simeon, Levi, and Judah on that day fought all three against the, might, the eleven mighty men until the time of sunset, but they could not prevail over them. And this was told unto Jacob, and he was sorely grieved. And he prayed unto the Lord, and he and Naphtali his son went against these mighty men. And Jacob approached and drew his bow, and came nigh unto the mighty men, and slew three of the men with, his, with the bow. And the remaining eight turned back, and behold, the war waged against them in the front and rear. And they were greatly afraid of their lives, and could not stand before the sons of Jacob. And they fled from before them. And in their flight they met Dan and Asher coming toward them. And they suddenly fell upon them and fought with them and slew two of them. And Judah and his brothers pursued them and smote the remainder of them and slew them. And all the numbers of Jacob returned and walked about the city, searching if they could find any men. And they found about twenty young men in a cave in the city. And Gad and Asher smote them all. And Dan and Naphtali lighted upon the rest of the men who had fled and escaped from the second tower, and they smote them all. And the sons of Jacob smote all the inhabitants of the city Sarton, but the women and little ones they left in the city and did not slay them. And all the inhabitants of the city of Sarton were powerful men. One of them would pursue a thousand, and two of them would not flee from ten thousand of the rest of the men. And the sons of Jacob slew all the inhabitants of the city of Sarton with the edge of the sword, that no man stood up against them, and they left the women in the city. And the sons of Jacob took all the spoil of the city and captured what they desired, and they took flocks and herds and property from the city. And the sons of Jacob did unto Sarton and its inhabitants as, had, as they had done to Charta, Charza and its inhabitants, and they turned and went away. Wow. You know, <laughs> these are the kind of people you just, you know, have to realize that God is with them and nothing, nothing is able to stop them. That's how powerful our Lord is. These men jumping up onto the tops of the walls, taking on, you know, hundreds of men, one guy, you know, I mean, wow, it's amazing, isn't it? I love this story. <sighs> It's um, it's amazing, and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying reading it to you. And if God's willing, we'll read chapter 38 tomorrow. <laughs> and as always, I love you.